We are seeing some numbers of teachers not just leave our school district, but really leave the profession. Much of that, I think, is attributed to the salary issue that is in place in Arizona for teachers. As we were looking at that, we were brainstorming issues that we could control. And one of the things that came up was affordable housing. So one day I got an email from the superintendent of the school district saying, we need a solution to the problem that teachers don't have anywhere to live. And their idea was to build a community of tiny homes for teachers. So here we are in my tiny house. The plan is to make this a space where teachers can live and save and do what they want to do and be a part of the Vail community. We are on the outskirts of Tucson, Arizona. In our 425 square miles, we do not have any apartment complexes. So the only option for housing is uh, purchasing a home or renting a home. And that's just not in the realm of what's possible for young teachers. It's moving slowly, but our plan is to have eventually up to 24 houses on that property. I think it's important for, for educators to be a part of the community and not just the principals or the superintendent who make salaries that can afford to live there. Our educators have to be able to afford to live in the community as well so they can be seen and be felt a part of it. I hope no one sees this as a, as a solution that we can end with. This housing project is not an option for everybody. This isn't the solution. It is a piece of the solution, though. I often hear, well, why don't you simply take that money and put it towards teacher salaries? We're investing in this project a little less than $200,000. We have over 800 teachers in our school district. If we gave them all a piece of that $200,000, that's about 250 bucks a piece, one-time money. What's that going to do for somebody? Whereas we can take that $200,000 invested in this project and change lives. Who's your role model? No one's forcing me to live in a tiny house. This is completely optional. It's an opportunity for me to do what I want to do and save money. For someone like Sydney, having that affordable housing within our community matters to her today. Our most important thing that we can do, which is put high quality young people and professionals in front of our students and their families, then I believe that that, that is something that we should be doing. I understand the creativity behind this. I understand the thought process. I think what it's missing is the idea of respect for a professional. You expect to be able to earn enough to where, like any other professional, you can go out and you can purchase a home and call your own. I mean, that was a great part of the American dream over my parents' lifetime and certainly mine. I think that the American dream is changing a little bit. You know, they say millennials have all these new ideas, and I think we do. While it's not the most ideal situation, I mean, obviously it'd be great if we could just pay teachers more. That's just not where we are right now. And so to find a solution that will work for now, that is amazing to me.